Hey, what's up guys, Punoshin over here, and as I'm recording this commentary, it's actually still pre-released. The game isn't out yet here in the UK, and it's only 7 o'clock, so I'm going to be going to the midnight release with my buddies to get my Hardened Edition. And, yeah, you're probably wondering, if you don't know, if you don't follow my channel, you're probably wondering, how did I get this game early? Well, actually, a buddy of mine from CQ9, uh, he knows a store which always sells the game like a few days earlier, and I went there last Friday, and I picked myself up a copy for... A little bit more than the retail price, but it's all good. I got to play four days early, so you know what more could I ask for? Now let's talk about the game. You know, initial impressions. This game, balance-wise, it's the best yet. It has the balance of Black Ops in terms of weapons. There's no like one weapon which stands out. It's probably even more balanced than um, Black Ops in terms of weapons because in Black Ops you had what the AK-74U rapid fire, which was a beast. The FAMAS with a red dot, which was a beast. In this, there's not a clear one weapon which is like, you know, one that everyone in, you can see everyone's going to use. Sure, I love the UMP, everyone loves the UMP, but there's other weapons out there which will, you know, combat this one. There's no, like, one, like, god weapon out there. So that being said, the kill streaks or the point streaks, I should say, um, yeah, nothing's overpowered in the point streaks, not that I can see. Let me just say this, everyone should be running assassin or using a stinger missile because UAVs will be flying everywhere. I remember being in a couple of games where UAV, UAV will be pulled up every freaking couple of seconds, you know, UAV, enemy UAV online, and it's annoying. So that's why I won't be shocked if people be running assassin a lot or using the stinger missile. Now the stinger missile is really good because Basically, if you take out two AVs, that's two, two added to your point streak, and you know, you're that much closer to that Osprey Gunner, whatever it is. I haven't actually had a chance to use the Osprey Gunner yet, but I hear it's a beast to use. Um, I really like that recon drone and the support kill streak. I actually made a video on it, you guys are probably going to see really soon. And what else? Oh, yeah, in a few days before the release, I've been playing. Um, basically, I've had a few problems with connection, like I've been getting Treyarch, if you don't know what it is, uh, you'd be shooting at someone and they'll kill you instantly or you'd run around the corner and then die after someone was shooting at you. Um, I think the reason why is because this game hasn't given me the option to pick a local host or a local game. Um, so maybe people from like America or God knows where else has been host and that's not been good for me since I live in the UK. So hopefully that will change after midnight release. Hopefully they'll like release a patch. Actually, when I first popped in the disc, there was already a patch for this game, a 1.02 patch, which I haven't done my research yet to find out what that patch does. But hopefully some good changes. You know, survival mode is definitely a beast. Uh, go check that out. First night we played, me and Rantin approves, and we played up to we got up to like wave 27. And uh, yeah, that's definitely a great game. We did play it before at Eurogamer, and it's it's definitely a beast. Although it's only two player, that game is definitely a beast. Go check out Survival Mode. Campaign, I started it, and it carries off from uh, Modern Warfare 2, the end of Modern Warfare 2 campaign. And let me just say, guys, this kind of game is not going to be a high kill game. As you'll see on my score, I only go 12 and 2. And <laughs> trust me, I've been struggling to get those high kill games. And yeah, it's definitely way more difficult than Black Ops or Modern Warfare 2, especially. Simply because, yeah, you, you pretty much have to use your gun for um, the majority of your kills. As uh, Robert Bowling was saying, Mr. 402, it is more gun on gun, and that is true. That is true for sure. And yeah. Definitely, and I love how they made like the best stuff high level like to get dead silence You have to be like level 55 and you know to get Yeah, yeah pretty much the higher level you up the more like Better stuff and equipment and perks perks especially that you get anyway <laughs> Final kill cam I get the drop shot on this guy if you guys enjoyed this video Please take the time to comment thumbs up and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace